guys welcome to my channel welcome back to my channel so as you see in the title today i'm going to be giving the girls hygiene tips and tricks for you guys um this is 2021 and we need to be smelling good looking good being healthy i mean what more do you need so before i get to this video please give it a like don't forget to comment and subscribe turn on post notifications because i have videos uploading on monday wednesday and friday and with that let's get to the video Okay, so I'm going to start off with your hair. Now, I'm not going to say, um, I'm not going to give you a timeline on how many days you should wash your hair or, or like what certain days you should wash your hair, but I will say don't go weeks without washing your hair because like unwashed hair can have a smell and I think I've probably had that before when I had like braids or something and it just hasn't been washed in a while. It can have a smell and you don't want to be going around smelling funky because your hair is not washed so i mean however way you want to do it do it on your do it by yourself or um like go to the salon and get your hair done i know that costs money but i would definitely say don't go weeks without washing your hair because that's just all that dandruff and grime all up in your hair and you don't want that you just wash it so plain and simple wash your hair um and next i'm going to go down to your face so I know that there are a ton of products that um, relate to your own skin, so I would definitely say please use those products that help your own skin because don't use these products that other YouTubers are saying. I mean, you can go out and try them, obviously, but like, if you can see that their skin is much different than your skin, then, you know, kind of make a mental note that that product might be different on different types of skin. So trying products is fine. Like I've tried so many products to like deal with my acne and I mean, it's it's a lot. Trying products is fine, but really use something that will go with your skin because you don't wanna be using a product that's gonna make you um, have rashes, break out, you know. And next, you should definitely wash like everything on your face. Like get in the parts where your nose are, um, behind your ears your neck like do a deep scrub on your face because like the little crevices that you might not see or might not do like it's there um oils can build up in between your noses like near your hairline i mean there can be so much oil that you don't even recognize so definitely get into the crevices in your face some places that you might not normally do get into that because they're there and they might be built up with like oil or dirt or whatever so wash your face please the next one go to your breath okay so nobody and i mean nobody wants to be walking around here with stinky breath i don't care if you have to use listerine if you need to have gum tic tacs mints candy that it will make you refresh i don't know what you have to do but make sure that your breath is on point and the key to making sure that your breath is on point is brushing your dog on teeth. And God forbid, do not forget that tongue. Wash, scrub, scrub, wash, rinse your tongue. Because your tongue has all of that bacteria and stuff that um, I guess some people just like miss over it and don't do it. Like they focus more on brushing your teeth, making sure they're like, you know, pearly whites. But make sure that tongue is scrubbed too. Because that is how you, you got hot breath from not scrubbing your tongue. So scrub your tongue. And you know, I bet people do this, but brush your teeth well, get get in the backs, in the backs here and here and down and around, you know. I use Colgate, I think that's what I use, but there's so many like different products for toothpaste. I mean, whatever one that like floats your boat, use it and use it on your tongue as well. And flossing is really important too. I'm gonna go into the next topic of like washing up, taking showers and all that type of stuff. Um, I know that there are a lot of soaps out there. I wanna show you guys one. Let me see if I have one here. There's a lot of soaps and um, this doesn't have, I'm not sure if we have the box anymore, but this is a Dove Bar. And it's probably like the best soap I've ever had because it's very, very um, soft, gentle, and it like foams up really well. And it's very gentle on your skin, um, especially on my skin. It really complements your skin, so I would definitely go for a Dove Bar. But any type of like 
body washing that you do, use body scrubs, you know. But I would not use scented if you're gonna go down there to your cooter. Don't use scented. I don't use scented. Um, and that's just because I don't want it to be smelling like how it naturally would be. So I use like unscented soaps, natural soaps down there. It's a very, very protective area down there. You don't want to be messing it up with Bath and Body Works. Okay, so use something very natural. After you get off the shower, I mean, I would pray that everyone puts on some lotion because we get ashy, okay? Um, and it can be lotion, it can be body oil. I use this big old tub of Coco Shea No String Oil Lotion. It's suave, it's like really good. And then if I'm feeling a certain way, then I'm gonna use this almond milk body yogurt. Y'all, this smells bomb. A1, your body, you will be smelling like yogurt, but almond milk. Like it smells so good. Um, and this is actually for sensitive skin as well. I'm trying to see who Okay, so this is from the body shop. I'm not even sure where I got this from But it smells really really good and it's a really great product to use like after you get out of the shower And it kind of is like lotion but runnier I guess but, like smoother texture I also wanted to show you all um, two like perfume fragrance products that I use that will also help you smell right so this is rose water and ivy from bath and body works and this is sweet pea from bath and body works like two completely different smells but they smell really good you you will be smelling really good after you use these two products um there's a lot of fragrances from bath and body works that you could like choose from you don't have to use bath and body works you can use different perfumes and body fragrances but if you want to be smelling good and how people actually stop and notice that you be smelling good, the them two right there will get you right, definitely. Um, I'm gonna go back to shaving. You definitely wanna shave under your underarms. I guess some girls might not get hair under the underarms, or some do, and some get a lot. Um, I shave under my underarms, like, you know, from time to time. You can do it in the shower, I mean, you can do it when you get out of the shower. It's really up to you. Um, shaving down to your JJ. Um, please, 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 please shave in the direction that the hair is going. So if your hair is going down, then shave down. If your hair is going up, then shave up because you don't want to be getting like cuts and razor bumps and all that stuff for shaving in the wrong direction. I've also heard that Nair is a good product to use. I use Nair and um, with like a big warning, like don't leave it on for too long because I, I haven't experienced this, but I um, have heard that you can get like burning marks or something like that if you leave it on for too long so don't set a timer when you're shaving um because you don't want to like harm anything down there it's a very very sensitive area a tip that i have recently learned is that you and if you want to after you shave you can maybe like wipe off your underarms or maybe down there to your jj i haven't done that before but with peroxide or alcohol just swipe off um like any bacteria that you miss or you cut yourself you can clean up that infection so it doesn't spread and get worse before i move on please clean your razors please i don't clean my razor after every time i shave only because of the fact that i don't want to put anything that's like dirty or bad on my body but if you want to like shave a couple times then clean it i mean totally up to you but don't go on after shavings and shavings and shavings and you don't clean the razor that is disgusting that's nasty and you just need to clean it because that's all that's dirty it's it's your hair but i mean it's all built up and you don't want that okay and i don't even think that the razor will shave properly if you don't clean it you know a couple times so please do that i'm going to do just a little segment on periods um so you <laughs> y'all know when there's a particular someone who you, you can just tell when they're on their period because when they walk in the room, like, y'all can just smell it. Yeah. Don't be that girl. Be the girl who nobody will know is on your period because you smell like flowers and daffodils and beautifulness, you know? Um, smell good. Definitely make sure to check your tampon and your pad from time to time. Like, don't leave it on for a long time. Me personally, what I do is <laughs> I change like every time I go to the bathroom. I don't know, I just can't be sitting in blood because blood has a very, very strong smell. And you don't want that on your body. 
So I just do it every time I like have to go to the bathroom, go to the bathroom, and maybe that's extra. And it's kind of important to you know take more showers when you're in period, wash up more, wash wash down there a lot, a lot like you know you wash your vagina but then you're also gonna have to wash like around your legs under your legs because that's just that whole body area that will have that strong smell of blood and that is even if you're off your period you know wash well down there and wash around your legs because that is important and along with that is drinking water you will always want to be hydrated that doesn't even matter like what you're going through you always want to be hydrated um I think we know, but pineapples and cranberry juice are good for your digestion. Nothing is better than water, and water like really cleanses your body. So I know that um, what I do is I drink bottles of water, but I think people are not going to use just like the big jugs, like the gallons, and just drinking through that all the day. So whatever is good for you, do it, but please, 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 please drink some water don't just flush your body out with cranberry juice because you heard it's good for you no i mean you can drink that from time to time and eat pineapple but really 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 instill some water in you because you're gonna feel like your best self and also feeling like your best self is eating healthier working out i know that it's like so hard to do it during quarantine because who has the motivation to work out you know but eating healthier and working out will make a better you and who wants to be feeling like their old 2020 self when it's 2021 and we want to be feeling like the brand new us the perfect us making maybe like a diet plan or um starting small and incorporating healthier foods into your um meal plan or whatever that is kind of like a process of eating healthier and working out more it can really be small things like taking maybe an hour out of your day 30 minutes just to do a couple warm-ups working out or if you are like very adamant you can go to the gym and work out longer i would say definitely work out you can go to the gym and eat healthier drink more water because you want to be your best self all right lisa babes that is all of the tips and tricks i have for females today ladies use those tips and tricks don't use them but i really want y'all to be our best selves live your best lives during 2021 and those are just some tips and tricks that, that can help you achieve that goal though if you like this video please give it a like don't forget to comment and subscribe and post notifications because i have been uploading on monday wednesday and friday and with that thanks for watching lisa babes